No, I'm just kidding. To start with introducing myself, I'm Gedis, Gediminas. You know, it's my first video, to be honest. Anyway, so I came here to basically do the review of this car. So what I have this car is like two weeks. I had a nice ride. And, you know, one day I just came up to this idea. Why not just to, you know, review the car? review the, the positive bits, like, you know, the good benefits and probably the bad. There's only a few of them. You know, usually like there is 90% of good things and just 10% of bad, okay? So with that said, I want you to welcome ladies and gentlemen to like my channel where I will review this Vauxhall Insignia, like 2018. And you know, you're more than welcome, just follow me, let's go. So the cool feature with this key, when you press to unlock once, it basically unlocks the car. If you hold it for a bit, it opens the mirrors. If you hold it for a longer, like few seconds, the windows will open. And I find it's very good when the weather is hot and you leave your car like for the day and you come to the car and it's like the heat is inside, you know, so before getting in the heat, uh, like in the sauna, you just probably hold it for a while and then the windows will open and the heat will go out and then you're ready to get in. Come in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. We have Vauxhall Insignia 2018. And you know, in the past I did have Vauxhall Insignia. So I've already tried uh, one of these cars. And this car, to be honest, impressed me a lot. Like if you would look in the interior, it has, I reckon, mm, a bit of similarity to like Mercedes type has a I believe fiber carbon touch on basically dashboard what I wanted just to talk a bit is if you've noticed this this kind of I don't know what it is how you call it you know how to call it anyway like shark thing you know <laughs> so I think that was uh, kind of inspired by like BMW you know I think this this car is a bit of like combination of BMW and Mercedes together plus it's 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 Vauxhall. If you look at the previous Vauxhall insignias, they have like like just a small one, which is this one is you know making this car more luxury. So if we go into the we call it boot, yeah, I found it a bit strange because usually you come to you know there's no there's no buttons, you know. But I found that like how do you open it? You just like press on this what it is? I don't know. Is it is it a eagle? I cannot figure out Vauxhall. What kind of symbol is that? Maybe you know, if you know, just write down in the comments. Wow, look at this. That's a spacious boot. You know, you can probably just like jump in yourself in there. Woo! Huh? What do you think? You can lay here. You can, you know, like have a nap probably. I don't think it's going to be very comfortable, but like your groceries, boxes, I think would fit perfectly. And also what we could do, like remove I don't know how you call this one, but it's like a probably cover, which is basically, you know, you can remove it very easily. And what also you could do is like make a bigger space if you want to put more things in. Like if you are moving, you know, from one house to another house or, or just doing some like removal of things, or you know what? You could probably like sleep in here. Look, you just get in here. Ugh. I believe it's not going to be very comfortable, but pretty much like you get some pillows and it's just blanket. Your wife's here and then off you go. You save some money for the hotels and stuff like, you know. <laughs> anyway, the other thing is what you could do is again with your wife, because we're talking about family car, right? So you can get in here. I've already tried this. You get in here and you basically close the boot. And then you could do the watching stars, yeah? And then you close it. Here we go. What I have noticed with uh, like people, like when I stopped at one of the nice halls and you guys came next to me and they said like, hey, what kind of car is that, you know? 
I said like, this is Vauxhall Insignia. And they're like, wow, it doesn't look like that. I mean, you can look at this. It really, you know, you wouldn't be able to say like it's a, you know, Vauxhall Insignia. They made a good job on like, you know, just creating something different. <sighs> what I'll do with this key, you know, it doesn't have a space where to put it. I'll just drop it there. Close the lid, close the door. So what would happen if I press the clutch? See that there is a engine start button, okay? Let's see. Oh, that's exciting. All the dashboard is on. I have a phone, obviously you have a phone too. I believe you have either iPhone or Android system. The cool thing with this car is there is no CDs. <laughs> so if you like CDs, you probably better transition to MP3s and when you open the armrest, you have a quite spacious inside and we have a cable which I've used like very old one. Once you plug your phone into that cable, by the way, there is like two USB ports where you could charge with them. And what happens that your phone has the Apple CarPlay. If you see this little icon, if I press on it, hey! That looks amazing. You can check your phone, basically, like contacts, and then your maps. Also, if you have your Spotify, very handy. And also, this is a touch screen. When I saw <laughs> that totally logo, like now playing, I thought this is a YouTube. So I thought this, like, you know, you can watch videos if you like movies or something, if you are bored. But apparently, this is like just taking you to a Spotify or you have radio stations. And I believe that this like radio stations, uh, they're very powerful because you can catch pretty much a lot of radios. If I would browse, you could see all the radios. Like I saw it first time, like Jack, Jazz FM, what's that? Premier Christian and you know, there's plenty of them. Look at that, look at that. You could listen like all over the day, like, you know. Right, next thing is we have sat nav. That's where we are. So now you know where we've been filming. Air conditioner. I would say air conditioner is very good. Very fast cooling. The cool thing in this car I like is, you know, it's all over the LEDs. If you see like blue and red, look, it's, it's you know, proper LED lights. Also, what I like, it's this cup holder. In that cup holder, I think this one is not very, you know, it's one of the points where I would mention that bad idea to put here. It's very uncomfortable to reach for your cigarette lighter, I think, like electrical lighter, or you can plug the charger for your phone, you know, but this is very, I think it's very uncomfortable. But, I mean, I found that if you have cup holders, and these ones, they're quite tall ones. You just put them and, you know, they're not in a way to reach the like climate control and stuff like. So what I have noticed as well that on a side door, we have quite a big compartment where you could basically put at least half a liter of maybe water or I believe that it could go even more than that. Maybe one and a half liter bottle easily also if you like your smoothies you can have another one where is like a cup holder where i keep my keys by the way and uh <laughs> coins you know <laughs> like for parking my car or some emergencies yeah gear stick i think it's very comfortable and i mean the the way you sit and then the, the armrest and the gear stick is in very good position it's like six gears this is a manual version also do you see this little button this is like parking very easy to use you know if you lift it up it kind of puts on a handbrake if you want to release it you basically press on the brake pedal and then just press down and then you hear that park brake released. You, you see everything on the dashboard. Okay, so what else I wanted to talk about is about glove box. The cool thing I like, it's the way it's opening. I mean, it's like, it will slide down very like gently. Oh, which is very nice, yeah. Also, we have, it's an adapter for topping up your fuel when you run out of fuel <laughs> and you need to like walk to the gas station and get the like five liter gallon. But anyway, the other thing is when you close it, it's just like, boom, it's there. When you open it, it goes nice and easy, yeah. 
Boom. But anyway, if you see a bit of like touch, there is again, uh, this car is, as you see, it's like fuel. I have a sticker, not to forget that, you know, when you go to top it up, it's unleaded fuel, not diesel, you know. <laughs> as I said, there is two USB ports. Also, you can stick in your like headphones, if you see in the middle of that. But this is not the end, because there's two more USB ports. And those USB ports is in the back. But the difference is that these ones, they are connecting to your dashboard where you can play your music. And then in the back one is only for the charging. What I like about the steering wheel, I would say it's very comfortable, nice touch. I wouldn't say it's a lever, but it's, it's very like a soft, like we could use hands-free phone calls. This side is controlling audio, volume and everything. Also what I like about this steering wheel is that it's adjustable, but it's not just adjustable. You can adjust, like you can just grab the handle here and then pull it to yourself. Yeah, pull it back. Just keep it here. Or you could lift it, like lift it up or lift it down, like take it down. And, you know, this is, this is very good because we all have different sizes and we like to sit in different positions. So anyway, you can find your comfortable position, which is, I like, for example, like, just to be like here so I could see the whole dashboard I could see my speed and everything also what I like on a dashboard on that screen you could see that it says now like fuel information if I click on this button yeah and I go up it says trip B trip A you know obviously we are standing now but there's the speed also with this thing economy index it shows like the miles per gallon how much you use when you drive or what, when you're like on a neutral position now but we will go probably with this one a bit later in detail so you have like follow distance timer i'm not sure what is it for the tire pressure for some reason left front tire needs to be topped up all life so that's 70 percent remaining of all life that's that's the cool thing because usually you don't know when you need to change but with this one kind of see it you know there's 70 percent so it's like whoa you still can go for it and then we go back to fuel information also the cool thing i like it's this button if you press it the mirrors will close wow from inside i haven't seen this kind of thing in other cars the other cool thing is that this car has like collision alarm which is right here in the first thing i thought maybe it's still is that you can see your speed but but this thing is showing kind of collision alarm and it goes red and you know all, all, all the things so this is i think it's a good thing like a warning thing okay so we will try to use now a rear camera for the reverse parking so i will try to basically move in that spot and I will try to get in there from, can I would say left lane, from my lane where I am, without using the mirrors. So I think this is a prediction what it does now. And it's not that very accurate. So I would have to go forward. And a bit like this. Okay, so it goes back into... Okay, it's uh, that's a cool thing. It's alarming that some something is on the side, probably car. And here is attention, attention, ladies and gentlemen, and we are nearly nearly parked. I think that's good. If I would open the doors, I'm pretty much in 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 that line where it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's good. Okay, it's, it's, it's actually very handy and it's quite accurate. And I would say uh, it's, it's, it's actually very clear. So you could see not just the road, but you know, the surroundings. And it's, it looks like a bird's eye. <laughs> right, so there's another cool feature in this car, as I mentioned previously about Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay. So I use Apple iPhone. And if I press on Apple CarPlay, you see all these icons familiar to you, like phone maps and so on and so on. What I want to talk about is quickly about the Audible. This is the probably the best app for me because while I'm driving, I could listen to audiobooks. And actually, I have one to recommend you is uh, Stephen R. Covey. The book title is uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I highly recommend this book. So I will leave you a link in the description 
and you can uh, just click on it and get the audible in your car or actually just in your phone once you get the audible you get one free book when you register as a free trial so use it it's all yours now What I wanted to say is when the music is playing, I stop the engine. If I want to get out, all the dashboard is still on. But once I open the door, it locks and it stays on the memory. Like it leaves the memory of what was here. And when I will get back, it will be the same what I've left, if you understand what I say. Okay, but you need to check it out yourself. In this car, I've noticed there is a weird thing that there is no place where to put your sunglasses, which usually like in old cars, they have like somewhere here, up top of, on the roof, where you just click the button, it, the shelf pops out, you put the glasses and you're good to go. Maybe other models they have, but this one apparently doesn't. So what I'll do now, I will check the back seats, because usually what happens uh, with the drivers, they only check the, you know, their driving seat. And well, it's very rarely you would get in the back. But as I'm doing the review, I would like to know how is it at the back, you know? And so far, I have a good impression on a knee room uh, because it's, you know, quite wide. Um, and yeah, it's uh, again, have uh, a bit of fiber carbon on, on the doors. Well, it looks as any other car. Oh, by the way, I like this one. I think in, in, in every car should be armrest at the back. But as I see, this car is not made for five people it's more like for four to have it more comfortable looking at the headspace and looking at my height which is i'm uh, 186 centimeters which is one meter 86 centimeters that's quite okay i mean I'm, I'm i'm quite tall i think so if i go in the middle and try to sit here i'm still okay i mean i still have not that much comparing to you know sitting on a side uh headspace but this is still okay if, for example, the drive would be one hour or two, that's, 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 I think, okay. But if it's longer, I wouldn't recommend probably to sit here because it's not that comfortable. As I said, it looks like it's been made for, you know, to sit comfortably for two people at the back. And I like the touch, the finish of this panel. It looks like it's partly leather. And then these stitchings, they are very, very good finish, I think. <laughs> Ouch. This is negative thing. I didn't like that. Did you see it? When you get out, this thing is in your head. So it means you have to go like this, or maybe like this. Hmm. Mostly we are used to start getting out from the car first with our head. I don't know what about you, but I usually go like this and it just like touches my head, the top of a head, which is I think not that very good or positive thing. That's one of them. <laughs> Let's check what's under bonnet. Yeah. Okay. And usually you know that trick that every time you have to find where is that kind of thingy you have to. Oh, it's very easy. Woo. Look at this. When you need to change oil is here. Like check your oil level is here, which is, it's good. The cool thing is that this one is a metal one. Usually the other ones, they are plastic. So it breaks quite fast. This is like a filter probably, but the engine looks yeah, this is turbo. Uh -huh. Turbo. Ta da! OnStar Advisor. Connecting call. to OnStar. Okay, let's connect. Let's see what's going to happen. Connected on OnStar Advisor call. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Okay. Start this is all speaking. How could I help you? Good evening. How are you today? Yeah, I'm all right. How about you, sir? I'm quite okay. I mean, um, I've, I've pressed this button because I'm not sure what is it for. So maybe you could explain to me because I've just got this car and, you know, <laughs> I, I don't yeah, know what is I'll it for. Able, yeah, I'd be able to tell you. So this is the, uh, the, OnStar, uh, the OnStar service button. So um, when you've registered an account, you'd be able to use um, various services of the, uh, the OnStar system. We could, for example, um, do, uh, send a navigation to your system, or we could uh, check your car if everything's all right. Um, we'd be able to assist you in emergency situations. Um, okay. Yeah, there's various functions available. Wow, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, that's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I'd be able to do for no, you? No, right that's. Now, I think you've answered my question. That's more than enough. Thank you. 
Have a good day. You're welcome. Same to you, sir. Bye. Thanks for calling on Star. Bye. Your OnStar call has ended. That Goodbye. wasn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think now it's time to go for a ride. Yes, let's go. And we're good to go. Let's go. And the thing is that the night is coming, so I will show you how it looks like the night mode. So this is a night mode. This is how looks the LEDs. Also there is a button, you just need to press it and then the knob comes out and then there's like a few levels to light it up, like one, two, it's brighter, three, a bit more, four, five, I'll go back to four, this is five, six, and that's the brightest one you can have in this car. So I think this one was taken from like, you know, inspiration from Mercedes, you know, these these lines. Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that this video is coming to the end. I'm very happy that you stayed and watched all the video of my review of this car, which is Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport 1.5 Turbo SRI model. Also, I will leave all the links in the description about the products I have mentioned. I do appreciate for watching the video. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon in another videos. Love you. <laughs>